This workout is gonna help you build full body strength. We are lifting heavy today. We've got two circuits plus a bonus abs round. So get your heavy dumbbells and let's get warm. Every great workout begins with a warm up, so we're gonna get right into ours. And as we begin this warm up, I'm gonna explain the structure of our workout and what you can expect from today's training. So let's go ahead and start out with everyone's favorite exercise, right? The squat. <laughs> Just a nice body weight squat here. No, I don't know if it's everyone's favorite exercise. I like it, but I prefer the sumo squat, if you want my honest opinion. But I know that the squat is oh so good for us. So that's why we got it going on. And it's a perfect exercise to start our warm up with. We're gonna do a couple more here, and then we're gonna start warming up that upper body. Let's do three. Here's three, two, and one. So let's stand on up, arms open, and then across. Dogs are playing musical couch today, apparently. <laughs> Nacho started out, now Stella's looking at it like, I don't wanna sit there after you were there. Whew. This workout today is going to be a strength builder. This is all about lifting heavy and getting strong from head to toe, plus our awesome abs finisher at the end is going to complete this workout quite nicely. But today's workout, is going to include two circuits. In each circuit, we've got eight exercises. We'll repeat each exercise twice. The circuits one and two are gonna be the same exercises. So we're gonna have four chances at each exercise. 30 seconds of work, 15 seconds of rest, 40 seconds of rest in between each circuit. Stagger good morning here in three, two, and one. So stagger good morning, one leg out, hips gonna drive back, back is flat. So take it down and then up. So when we're lifting heavy, remember heavy is relative to you and where you are at in your strength training journey. So your weight may be above mine, maybe below mine, does not matter because that is where you are and that's what you need to get strong. So just listen to your body and adjust accordingly. Again, when we're lifting heavy and we've only got 30 seconds, you can really challenge yourself in that time. When we're lifting heavier, we're not gonna get as many reps in. That's not what it's about. It's not about the number of reps. It's about going heavy, keeping that good form and getting that full range of motion to really maximize our workout. Last one and then let's switch. Whew, switching it up. Same thing, other side, down and up. And strength training also, one thing to keep in mind, hitting failure during strength training is a good Thing. That means you're really maxing out and giving it all that you've got. So don't be shy to start heavier than you might think and then adjust if you need to. But again, always listen to your body. We're training smart so we can get strong here. <sighs> Few more and then we're gonna finish out with arm circles and then we will be ready to get into our first exercise. <sighs> Let's do three. Here's two and one. Big arm circles back now. Now this workout includes all types of compound exercises for the upper and lower body. So we don't have any isolation exercises, but all of the muscles that we focus on during our regular full body exercises will be working today, whether they're coming in as the primary or the secondary muscle working. <sighs> We're gonna get into that first exercise, which is going to be a squat. So remember, grab that heavy weight. Let's do three, let's do two, and let's do one. I'm starting to think about it now because I'm like, 30 seconds, we got this. Let's, let's go here. And then as you go through, because we will have a few chances for each exercise, you can adjust your weight up if needed. So shoulders rolled down and back, weight is in the heels, 30 on, here we go. So take your time when you're heavy. Woo. Good, don't forget to breathe out as you press that floor away. Woo. Take your time. Work at your own pace. You don't have to follow my tempo, so make sure you are working at your own pace here. This is gonna be it. Three, two, oh, and one. Good, one more set like that. Now with these heavy weights, you can set them down in between, but 15 seconds is gonna go by quick. And again, the heavy weights, you can take some leverage off here, put some weight on your shoulders. And 30 on, here we go. Whew. 
heart rate should already be getting up here because this is tough. When we are lifting heavy, that heart rate will get up. Almost there, count down three, two, and one. Good, shoulder press is next. Moving right into it. Grab the weights for shoulder press. Here we go, five, four, three, two, and one. Press it up. Take your time to get that full range. Down. Try not to use any momentum. So try not to squat down at the bottom and push it up. Use those shoulders. Here it is. Three, two, one. Oh, wow. All right, 10 seconds, we go again. All right, let's bring it up. Five, four, three, two. Final set here for press. Now next exercise is a rear lunge, but I've got a modification for you if lunges bother your knees. You're gonna do a single sided suitcase squat. Letting you know now because you know that break goes by quick. You'll see that modification on screen though so you can follow it. If not, rear stepping lunge on the same side. Three, two, one. All right, lunging next. So adjust that weight or that suitcase squat modification. Shoulders roll down and back. Going here in three, two, and one. Here we go. Now make sure your back is staying straight. I have got a slight hinge forward to put a little bit more emphasis on the glutes, but my back is not rounding, so make sure you're not letting your back round. Oh my. Oh. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Rest it out, same thing, same side. Now, if you're doing that suitcase squat and the lunge, try to stick with the same weight on both sides when we switch sides for that next set. All right, so same side, here we go. Three, two, and one. Again, taking your time. You may notice also, I like to tap my knee on the bottom just to keep myself consistent and how low I'm going. You don't have to tap your knee though. Really up to you, just try to keep everything consistent. This is three, two, and one. Oh, good. Other side, same thing. So suitcase squat. You're gonna use that other dumbbell on the other side, focusing all that power on one side. Going here in three, two, and one. Here we go. Same thing, back is flat. You've got that good posture. Today's structure is also challenging because we are working a little bit in the peripheral heart action where we're alternating between the upper and lower body. That really challenges us. Great way to train, super effective way, but you'll feel that heart rate. Last three, two, one. Huh. One more set, like that. All right, five out. Oh my, three, two, and one, here we go. Peer strength training today. A lot of variation in this week's workouts, if you haven't noticed. Good, keep that weight in the heel. Here it is, three, two, and one. Nice job. Switching it up now. Right arm row, left arm row. Now if you have a box or chair, you wanna use something for support for that arm that's not working, feel free to do that. If not, we're gonna hinge it 
over at the hips, back flat, core engaged, and we row. Here we go. Make sure you exhale as you pull up, squeeze shoulder blade around spine, and then down. Working full range here. Hold it at the top for a second, get that contraction, and then back down. Here it is, three, two, and one. Breathe it out. Oh. Same thing, same side. Grab that weight, go in here in three, two, and one. Let's row. Down and squeeze. Make sure your back is staying flat. Think about good posture here with your chest. Don't let your shoulders round. Hold it again at the top for a second. Feel that back work. Make that mind muscle connection right here. Wrap that shoulder blade around and squeeze. Here we are. Three, two, and one. All right, same thing, other side. The sweat is pouring right now. Oh, wow, five out. We gotta get ready. Here it is, drop that bum down, and let's row. Almost there. Remember, hold it at the top for a second. Last three, two, and one. Oh, rest it out, breathe. You're doing awesome, by the way. Oh, wow, this is, oh, and you got it. Come on, last set here for row. Grab the weight, going in three, two, and let's row. Take your time. <sighs> Remember, it's about quality over quantity with these reps here. Don't rush. Don't cheat yourself on that range of motion. <sighs> keep it heavy, keep it slow. <sighs> here it is. Three, two, oh, and one. <sighs> we're bringing it down, glute bridge. And then also have your weights ready if you want for chest press, because we're gonna do two sets of glute bridge, two sets of, che two sets of chest press, and then we're gonna switch it up. So bringing it down, 30 on for that glute bridge. Let's grab the weights. We go in five, four, three, two, and here we go. Squeeze and down. Drive it up, push through the heels, and then down. Don't hold it long at the bottom. That is the shortest bit right there. You drop it, you come right back up, you hold it and back down. Good, up, squeeze. Oh, here it is. Three, two, one. Drop it down just for a second. Rest is gonna go by quick. All right, here we go in three, two, and one. Drive those hips up and then down. Squeeze. Almost there, then we're gonna switch it right over to chest press. Here we are. Three, two, and one. All right, weights for chest press. Bring those weights up. Going in three, two, and one. Control it down, take your time down. Exhale, press up, keep those wrists straight. Whew. Think about driving those shoulder blades into the mat. This is one where that low back can arch up off of the mat. That is okay because we're working only in the upper body. Here it is, three, 
two, and one. Let's just hold it. Hold it, we go right back into it. This, you know by now this 50 sec 15 seconds is up before you know it. Pressing in three, two, and one, 30 on. Now we're getting ready for circuit two. So after this, you're gonna get 40 seconds and then we are going to repeat those same eight exercises, same structure and everything. So two times through. We're just gonna talk about weight during our recovery. So make sure you have your water nearby so you can grab some of that if you need it. This is three, two, oh, and one. Okay, weights down, breathing. All right, we got a nice recovery here. So let's enjoy this time before we bring it back up for that heavy squat. What I want you to think about when you're picking your weight. Now, because we've got 30 seconds of work, that seems like a short amount of time, but if you are lifting heavy to really challenge yourself, by the end of that 30 seconds, you will say, I could not have done one more. We'll have that quick break, then we'll go right back into it. So that's what I want you to think about for the second circuit through. Now you may have to go down in weight, if you, um, or you can, might be able to go up in weight. But again, listen to your body and do what you need to do. Going into that squat now. So let's grab our heavy weight. Whew. All right, regular squat. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Keep that chest up, weight in the heels. With your squat, back always stays flat. Almost there. Here's three, two, one. Rest it out. Quick break. Last set of squats for the day. Let's bring it up. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Really think about pushing that floor away. Remember, use your breath right here. Exhale. Almost there. Good. Three, two, and one. All right, moving on. Shoulder press. Let's bring those weights up. Three, two, and one. Good, now with this shoulder press, relax the shoulders down away from your ears. So don't let those shoulders creep up towards your ears. Keep it relaxed. Good posture. This is it. Three, two, and one. Breathe it out. 10 seconds we go again. All right, going here, five seconds. Let's bring those weights up. Here's three, two, and let's go. Almost there, halfway. Three, two, one, awesome. Rear stepping lunge or that single sided suitcase squat. Let's grab our weight, uh, one side and then the other side, two sets of each. Here we go. Let's take it back. And really think about pressing that floor away through your heel there. Oh. 
We're almost there. This is three, two, and one. Oh, one more set on that side. You got it. Stella's looking at me like, what has gotten into her today? Oh, we're all about getting strong today. All right, last set on this side. Here we go. This is three, two, and one. Oh, switching it up, other side. Whew. 10 out. Lower body gets a break after this. Just remember that. Two sets, 30 seconds. Here we go. Now after a strength session like this, please keep in mind it's gonna be super important to make sure you are fueling your body whew, with proper nutrition. Cause we are breaking down the muscle right now and it's gonna need something to build it back up. So make sure you got some good options for protein. Last three, two, and one. We have one more set of that, I think we do. <laughs> I'm thinking about my after snack now. I'm like, ah, yes. Going in three, two, and one. Nice job. Oh, come on. This is halfway. I know it's shaking. It's burning, it's getting tough, but you got it. We're gonna switch it to those rows next. Here it is, three, two, and one. Whew. All right, rows, one dumbbell. So again, if you need that box chair, something to give you a little extra support for this side that's not working, make sure to have that. Going in three, two, and one, here we go. Keep that arm close to your body. And then exhale as you squeeze shoulder blade around spine. Make sure you've got a nice long straight line here from your hips to the top of your head. So no rounding, no arching. Here it is. Three, two, and one. Same thing, same side. Five seconds. Oh, here we go. Three, two, and one. Remember, don't just let that weight, don't just let that weight drop down, squeeze it, hold it. That's where we're getting stronger, right there. Squeeze and hold, and down. Switching sides next. Oh, the countdown is here. Three, two, one. Oh. <sighs> Stella is seriously staring at me like she is highly concerned. Yes, Stella, what is going on? Oh. All right, let's get ready. Other side, going in three, two, and one. Row it up, squeeze, and down. Don't forget, use your breath as power here. It's getting tough, you exhale, squeeze. Here's three, two, one. One more set. I've gotta dry off, because pretty soon I'm not gonna be able to see with all this sweat right now. It is raining, it is pouring, but it feels good. Last set of rows, here we go. 30 on, squeeze. 
Think about sticking that chest out towards the ground to keep that good posture. Whew. Two exercises left before we hit that abs finisher. Going back into glute bridge. So we're gonna move quick. Here's three, two, one. Good, let's switch it up to glute bridge. All right, so rolling it back. Five seconds out, going here in three. Two and one, let's glute bridge. Weight is in the heels. Exhale as you come up. Don't hold it too long at the bottom. Here it is, three. Two, and one. Whew. Getting ready to go again. Oh, five out, last 30 seconds for glute bridge. Here it is in three, two, and one. Lift, squeeze it. Make sure you control it down. As you press up, don't round your back. Make sure you're keeping that back straight. Whew. Tightening up those glutes though. We're down, squeeze the glutes. Squeeze everything together there. Oh, wow. This is three, two, and one. Oh, weights out of the way. Going into chest press now. Let's grab our weights. Here we go, three, two, and one chest press. Whew. Last exercise, final two sets. Then we've got about three minutes of abs to complete this. That is gonna be the icing on the cake. This was the ultimate strength workout, I would say. Whew. Whew. Here's three, two, one. Oh, rest it down. This one's gonna come up quick. After this, we get a little bit of a break. Longer break in between the circuits. We'll talk about abs. But focus is back here. We go in three, two, and one. Final set of chest press. Here it is. Don't forget to breathe. As you press up, wrists are straight, punch that ceiling. Here it is. Three, two, and one. All right, let's get those weights down. Carefully set your weights down. We'll get the weights out of the way. Getting ready for our ab work. So you've got 40 seconds to rest here. Oh, nice job. You are doing so awesome. This is really, oh my word, really getting tough. But we are finishing up now with abs. So upper body, lower body are gonna get a break. We will actually need uh, one, two dumbbells for a couple of the exercises. We're gonna do a plank dumbbell drag. And then we're gonna go into a dead bug with dumbbells where we just lower the lower body. So those are optional with dumbbell. However, with the plank drag, you kind of do need the dumbbells. Whew. So again, try to pick something on the heavier range for those. I am gonna go with 20. Just need one for that dumbbell drag. Going here in three, two, and one. Now with the dumbbell drag, Try not to let anything move but your arm to pull that weight. So you want it to keep those hips still. <sighs> Rest timer is gonna be a little bit shorter in between this ab circuit. <sighs> we're gonna have 10 seconds and we only work through everything one time with abs here. <sighs> so we're gonna go right in to that dead bug with weights. Last three, two, and one. Now two dumbbells if you're using those for the dead bug. <sighs> So arms will be up 
and we're just gonna lower the back. Keep that low back pressed in to the mat, just lowering the legs down and up. Alternating sides, keep that low back pressed in. If you're having a hard time keeping that low back pressed in, just keep those legs at 90 degrees. No weight next, we're gonna go into side plank. Here it is, three, two, one. Dumbbells out of the way. Right into side plank, you can keep that bottom knee down or up. And here we go, holding it. Just hold it. Breathing. So next, we'll just switch it to that other side. Keep those hips driving up. Don't let those hips start sagging. Hold it. Good, just gonna switch it to the other side here in three, two, and one. Bring it over to the other side, right up. Again, you can keep that bottom knee down as a modification, but here we go. Lift it up, hold it up. Good breathing. We're gonna go into a straight leg, straight arm, straight leg, cross body crunch next. So we'll take it and roll it onto our back, meeting opposite toe to opposite hand. Hold it, here it is, keep those hips up. Three, two, one, bring it down. So opposite arm to opposite leg, going here in three, two, and one. Legs out in a V. Good, and up. We have got one ab exercise after this. Here it is, three, two, one. So legs are gonna be up straight in the air. We're gonna reach up for those toes, trying to get the shoulder blades up off of the mat. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Get those shoulder blades up. Almost there. This is three, two, and one. Ooh, hug the legs in. You made it. That was our oh, ultimate strength workout. You are stronger because of it. I am so glad you pressed play. Keep pressing play, keep being consistent, and you are gonna be stronger than you ever thought you could. This is so awesome. I'm so glad you are here. If you want to finish out with our Tabata, the uh, let's say the ultimate hit workout to finish your ultimate strength workout, you can find that, that is brand new. And if you want any more information about our brand new program starting January 1st, Bike and Bells Thrive, you can find that down in the description. Thanks for being here, I love ya.